So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what the hell have I been up to lately? I've been busy. So that's the new video intro. Um, I worked really hard on it, and uh, I love it. It's fucking awesome. You know, that old one was kind of nice, but it's just like kind of needed to move on a little bit from it because I did the best with what I could, to be perfectly honest. Looking back on it now with the equipment that I had and all that, yeah, it was kind of the best that I could do, but the quality for it just wasn't holding up. It was like standard def, and nowadays it's, it's all beautiful, glorious 1080p 60 frames per second, so yeah. As to what I've been actually up to, um, so a few things have come up that are kind of important. One is a job and one is college. So starting up college in the next couple of weeks here, that'll be fun. And then I also have a job that I'm working on that uh, I kind of have a lot of liberties in how I actually do it, but uh, it still takes a lot of my time because I actually you know, have to do it because it takes a lot of time out of my day. All that time, you know, that I used to spend making videos? Yeah, now it's for work. It's not that I've been neglecting the channel. I want to do more stuff on the channel, but I'm busy. And uh, once I'm actually done working and I'm actually in college, I'll probably not... I'm not too worried about college. As to why I actually kind of just fell off the radar and didn't tell you guys why, I just, I don't know. Kind of felt like I wanted to take a break, a long break. And I kind of did, plus, of course, work, like I said. It's just I have better priorities right now. If I really, really, like, manage my time super well, I manage, I could I could do both YouTube and work and get ready for college and all that. But I'm kind of, you know, lazy, and uh, so that's a problem. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I have all of my priorities straight before, you know, like, I do, I put any more extra workload on myself than I actually need to. I mean, the normal scheduled content is coming back out, like retro style, fucking verses, all that is still going to be coming as regularly scheduled programming. So yeah, don't worry, everything is, it, your, the content that you subscribed for is going to continue to come out, I guarantee that. May not be as many as like four or five videos a week, maybe like two or three while I'm in college. I think that's reasonable, I'd say considering how much work I put into these damn things. <laughs> Probably even more so now, because for this video that you're watching right now, it's not going to be me doing one gigantic fucking take like I do most of the time. It's actually going to be me cutting segments out of it and just putting it together in a smaller video. So, which in turn actually takes up a lot more work. Other than that, there is a few newsworthy things I guess I could talk about. I guess we could turn this into a Zinc Talk slash channel update. Why the fuck not? It's my channel. I do what I want. <laughs> so I guess one of the first things we're going to talk about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher his name. I know it. Haru Nakajima. Now, that name might not sound familiar to you, but, uh, you know, the suits that he wears probably pretty important. He is responsible for generation of Godzilla that we call the Showa era. He played Godzilla in every movie from Godzilla 1954, the original Godzilla, all the way up to Godzilla vs. Gigan. And he was in plenty of other things, if I look over here real quick. He was a, he played Rodan, he played Mogira, Varan, he played Lavra Mothra. I mean, he, him in the... As it... Mm. In terms of the kaiju genre, this man had, there are a few people who have probably had a bigger impact than him. He's the reason Godzilla exists, mo more or less, pretty much. And uh, the reason why he's actually in the news is because he actually passed away at the age of 88. In retrospect, I actually kind of wanted to meet him because Godzilla is awesome. Godzilla is love, Godzilla is life, pretty much for me, as you can tell, mostly. Yeah, it's kind of sad, actually. I know that not even just Godzilla fans in general, but the whole kaiju genre kind of reeled from his death there a little bit. And I know a lot of, I saw a lot of, uh, 
a lot of artwork online that I'll probably put up on the screen somewhere of uh, people, you know, paying respects to Haru Nakajima. And uh, some of it's really good. I'll put some of it on the screen for you guys to see. But uh, I think my favorite's got to be uh, Matt Frank, because I actually, it, I fucking love Matt Frank's worth. Not to take away from any of this, but uh, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's one of those, one of those passings that just, you know, you really can't take back. Eh. A bit of Godzilla died with him, I believe. A bit of the genre did as well. So, we'll move on, though. As all good, uh, as all good ideas, they will continue to evolve and, uh, take on a life of their own. This actually came as a big shock to me, because to be perfectly honest, for how big of a Godzilla fan that I am, I actually didn't follow the actors that played him i followed like the entity godzilla but not the people in the suits so this kind of caught me off guard a little bit because i had heard his name before and maybe seen his face once or twice in a few articles online but i never really like it never really hit me till like a few days ago but moving on from all the gloom and doom and all the we're all gonna eventually die and the world's gonna die in a heat death and the universe is gonna implode on itself Anyway, so we have some new updates on the Godzilla anime, so, um, it's definitely coming out this year, there's a solid date for it, not a solid, not a, not a day, but a month, November of this year, and, um, not only did we get our first new look at Godzilla, I'm not the hugest fan of, but I'm okay with it, if I'm being honest, it's, it really just seems like a rehash of legendary except in like i really i really can't pin down his skin type it looks strange awkward almost shin like it's weird but yeah we got a first our first good look at him and uh sh monster arts the guys who create uh let me pull this up over here this bad son of a bitch i have the sh monster Arts shin godzilla it's uh fucking, yeah i'm not i'm gonna keep him like this because he's in like figurine mode over there yeah um, yeah, they create these awesome figurines for, like, like, you gotta pay, like, like, outside your butthole for these ones. No shit. And, uh, they're creating the new one for the new anime. And, from the first, <laughs> like, cause I'll, I, I can assume Future Self is gonna put up a picture of some, as some, I don't know where. Um, and, uh, it, they, I'll put them both up together, both the SH Monster Arts and the, the little teaser that we got of him, and uh, they pretty much look the exact same. Like, they took the picture of the prototype in the same uh, angle as they did for the artwork for the anime. And to top everything off on that, we got a fucking teaser trailer. Because, of course, it's a teaser trailer. It's not a real trailer, but it's still uh, still awesome. I, apl I just, just go watch it. Just please. You, get, you actually get a look of Godzilla in it very briefly. But, uh, there's also something about his roar in the, if you watch the teaser trailer, something about his roar that is similar. I believe a previous Godzilla might have had it, and I'm not sure which, because it does not seem original, that's for sure. And then I guess we could talk about some Pacific Rim news. Finally, some Pacific Rim news, and no, some of it's bad. <laughs> so the release date for Pacific Rim actually got pushed back about a month, so instead of February 23rd, 2018, which is which was su the supposed release date, is now March 23rd, 2018. I don't know why, probably for a few reshoots, maybe, I don't know. It's whatever, I've been waiting on forever for this fucking movie. I'll wait even longer, I don't give a damn. I'm a very patient man. And, uh, speaking of Pacific Rim, Uprising, I should call it, really. Is it a teaser trailer? Maybe. Is it a real trailer? Kind of that, too. Because we not only get our first look at Gypsy Avenger, which is Gypsy Danger 2.0, in full CGI, like, it moving and everything. Something for Pacific Rim 2, which has been kind of naturally quiet, it seems like. We've gotten, like, some screenshots here and there, sets, but just, other than that, we really haven't seen anyone, and then they drop this. I, once you're done with the teaser trailer for the Godzilla anime, watch this. It's actually really good. It, more or less, the entire thing is just, like, a recruitment video for, uh, like, piloting the Jaegers. So, really fucking cool. Just, I'm, I'm done talking about it. I'm just, go watch it, please. All right, I've run my mouth for a little too long. I just wanted to update you guys, that's all. And then it turns into fucking news. So, as always, guys, like, if you liked it, go and share with your friends. And you make sure you watch this video all the way through. I'll come through that camera and beat the shit out of you. No, I'm kidding.
I can't actually do that. Even if I could, I still wouldn't. Because physically that wouldn't make sense. Besides the point, I'll see you guys in the next video. Pop.